Welcome to the 2010 SHOT Show. I'm Peter Pye, President of Corbin Ammunition. I'm here with my good friend, John Farnham from Defensive Training International. I think we've uh, done a lot of training together. Uh, I, mean, I think I've known you, what, now, tw over 20 years, John? Long enough to know better, I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's for sure. <laughs> Anyways, we, we, we'd like to, uh, I'd like to talk to John a little bit and so, so my audience can uh, see uh, our line of DPX ammunition. It's, uh, it's uh, the greatest thing right now with law enforcement. And I know John has got a lot of experience with the DPX yeah. and uh, maybe we could talk about it a little bit, John. Well, uh, I should uh, point out that uh, Pete is, and I have been friends for a long time, of course, but uh, I'm a contract trainer and I trained uh, a lot of police, uh, a lot of military folks and, and other folks. Uh, I don't do endorsements. Uh, Pete and I have no financial connection with each other, mm -hmm. but I do do recommendations. I'm happy to recommend, recommend products that I like and that I use personally. And uh, it is my opinion that the uh, DPX round uh, courageously put on the market by Pete. It was a, quite a risk when they started it. Uh, has demonstrated itself to be superior uh, to nearly any other uh, round out there, both in pistol and in rifle. Uh, there are many fine ammunition company out there, aside from Corbon. They all make fine products and, and uh, I, uh, I like all of them. And they all work very hard to make a, a good product. Uh, but DPX is currently at the top of the list. There's no doubt about it. We like it uh, because it expands consistently. Uh, we can't get it not to expand, in spite of the fact that it has to uh, penetrate clothing. We've shot it through leather and layers and layers of clothing. It still expands. Uh, unlike most conventional hollow points, uh, uh, are quickly frustrated by multiple layers of clothing that have to be penetrated prior to them entering. I think what happens uh, uh, is the hollow point, uh, some of these projectiles, uh, they don't have enough velocity. The hollow points actually become plugged. They implode. Yeah, yeah. They, they become plugged with clothing and mm -hmm. stuff. And then as, as, they start, as it's going into the ballistic gelatin or the body, mm -hmm. uh, they, they sort of just close in on itself. Right. Because, and, and essentially become a hardball round. Exactly. Uh, hard. And that has always been the, uh, the case with all high performance ammunition. And of course the solution has been to drive it at higher velocities, but that has risks too. Uh, because uh, performance is always a balance between expansion uh, and penetration. Uh, and we, they have to be balanced. You can go too far in any one direction and the round becomes uh, uh, ineffective. And uh, quite frankly, I'm not sure I understand completely how all this works. I watched high speed videos. Uh, I'm not sure why we can't get DPX not to expand. Uh, and God knows we tried. Well, I think uh, I think a, a lot has to do with because it's a solid copper projectile, uh -huh. and the annealing it, it's a, it, uh, the process that Barnes goes through uh, to make the jacket yes. s a softer right. uh, has a lot to do with you know it, it's, it just seems to uh, expand so very well. Well, you know, uh, Pete understands this at a technical mm -hmm. level far better than I do. I'm a trainer. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I can't always tell you why things work, but I can tell you what works and what doesn't. <laughs> Because we use well, a lot of it. John, uh, I know, why don't you tell our, our audience a little bit about what you do and your classes and how to contact you uh, for, well, thank you. for some training. Uh, we train around the world. Uh, we train uh, 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 classes in the art and science of defensive shooting and uh, personal defense, uh, both in and out of law enforcement and out of the military. And uh, I've been doing this now for uh, close to 35 years. and. Uh, I'm having too much fun to quit, so I, I'm not sure I'll keep doing it uh, as long as I can. And uh, uh, if you want to get a hold of me, our uh, web page is at defense-training.com. It's defense-training.com. And uh, uh, go to our web page, contact me personally. I'll be happy to, to get back with you. Well, I can personally uh, vouch for, for John. Uh, I'm a staff instructor with DTI. Yes. And uh, I've been to more classes than I can, uh, that we could, either one of us can re re begin <laughs> right. to think about or remember, but uh, yes. I highly recommend it. Uh, well, it's you. probably the best training academy in the country. Thank you. Thank you, John. You bet. Appreciate it. You bet. Okay. And uh, <laughs> I carry it. I got it in my pistol right now. Uh, it's great stuff, and uh, I recommend it. And uh, I consider uh, Pete to be a modern American hero, an entrepreneur who boldly and courageously brings these new products to market at great risk, and, uh, and that's what advances our art uh, and makes all this possible. 
Thank you. <laughs>